What's going on guys, Tyler here, back with another Elementor video. And in today's video, I'm excited because we're talking about an effect that I actually just created to make some glowing text. It's gonna be a really cool effect. You're gonna learn a lot. So be sure and stay tuned for this whole video. And if you're new to the channel, Welcome, I really appreciate you stopping by. Be sure and smash that nice red looking subscribe button, join the family, and you can be notified of upcoming videos just like this one. And also guys, I did wanna mention that Elementor Pro is going up in price in just a few days on March 9th, which is just like one or two days away. So be sure and check out that link down below in the description. Consider upgrading because Elementor Pro is a phenomenal plugin with so many different features. And this feature, this little effect that that we're gonna show you today is just one of the cool things that you can do with Elementor Pro. So I highly recommend to all my friends and family go and upgrade, check out that link down below and see what kind of price you can get for it to get started with Elementor Pro today. And if you guys do wanna know more about that pricing increase, check out that card right there. I did make a video explaining all the different pricing increases that are happening and all the different Elementor plans and what's going on with that. So if you're interested, check that out. And again, click on that link to get Elementor Pro. Now let's go ahead and just jump into my computer and show you this awesome effect. All right guys, so we actually have a few different effects here. I'm really excited to show you, but it's all bundled up here into one little piece of code. So let's go ahead and just show you. This is what the first one looks like right here. How cool is that? We've got this glowing text right off the bat that just pops off the page. Now I have the background set to a dark black background just so we can really see this neon effect coming off the page. Now if we switch to a light background, we also get this cool effect. And this effect I think is pretty, pretty awesome. It's almost like this kind of smoky effect in the background behind the text or maybe kind of artistic, like someone sketched behind the text and all that's left is kind of the white text popping off the page. I think it's a really cool effect, but that's not all. We have other effects in this pack. All right, guys, and that's not it. Let me show you another effect that we have here. Just as I refresh the page, you can see we get an animated headline that pops up with this neon effect across the letters that are actually being written out. If this doesn't catch your attention on a dark themed website, literally nothing will because this is like very neon glowy. It really pops off the page. Plus it's animated. So it's typing. Plus you have that really cool highlighted, almost like a orangish pink when it highlights the text and then deletes it out. It really is like a cool, cool animation. And especially with this glowing effect that I've added to it. Now, let me actually show you how to do this because it is very, very easy. And you guys can have this up and running in just a few minutes. So stay tuned for this whole video and I'll show you how. Of course, guys, if you like this video and enjoy this effect, be sure and hit that like button so YouTube can boost this video in the YouTube algorithm. But back here on the actual website. So if you go down, I have a link down below in the description that you'll get access to this page. And this is just my custom codes with Elementor. I talked about it in my last video and I'm talking about it again here in this video. But these are all different effects that you can replicate on your website. It's very easy. You just hit this copy button up at the top right hand corner and paste it onto your website. And I'll show you exactly just how to do that today. So the first thing is you wanna scroll down here to the text glow because this is the effect that we're working with. And notice that there is a lot of code here. So you'll definitely want to make sure you don't just highlight it, but you hit this copy button over here on the right. And then the only other thing that I wanna point out is depending on the color that you want for this effect, you'll want to replace any instance of this code right here. This hashtag or pound sign, E12DDF, that is basically the color code that I've used to create this effect. But if you want a different color code, you can simply just go ahead and replace that. And if you wanna know how to get a color code, it's very easy. In the back end of pretty much any Elementor page, you can click on change a color. You can pick whatever color you want and then this code will be generated right at the bottom. That's the color code that you'll need. Okay, but back here on this page, what we're gonna do is actually copy this code over and then go into the back end of our WordPress website. So I'll hit this copy button here and boom, it is all copied and ready to be pasted. And now we're in the back end of our WordPress site. So what we're gonna do is hover over Elementor 
Elementor here on the left hand side and go to custom code. And then once this loads up, this is our library of little code snippets. So if you don't have any custom codes, there might be a big green button that says like get started or create your first one. But if we already do have some, we'll go right up here and click new code. And then we'll go ahead and give it a title. And the title doesn't really matter. It's just for your use, but I'm gonna go ahead and name it text glow. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just paste in this code right here and bada boom bada bing that is all pasted in i'm going to make a few other changes i'm going to go here location and switch it to body start because that's a good location for this code i'll go ahead and change the priority if i don't have any other pieces of code i can set this to number one but i have a few other pieces of code so i'm going to put it down here at like number eight and then i'm going to go ahead and hit publish and when i hit publish it's going to ask me here where I want this code to be published. And for me, I'm gonna go ahead and just include this code across my entire website, and then I will choose when I want this effect to be used on which piece of text. I have noticed a weird kind of bug. If you notice that your code isn't working, sometimes go back here and hit add condition and then include it across all singular. And then that will add, it will say include singular, all singular, and then save it and publish it. So I went ahead and hit this publish button and once we're published, we are done. Again, if you're running into any kind of problems, you may wanna to switch to the Hello Elementor theme. Sometimes that can cause issues. Or again, like I said, conditions. Sometimes you just wanna include your entire site plus all singulars. But other than that, guys, you are ready to go. And let's go ahead and jump into the back end of an Elementor page so I can go ahead and show you just how easy it is to use this. All right, guys, I'm here in a brand new page and I added a spacer here so I could bring my content down a little bit and switched it to an Elementor canvas right under the settings here. But you don't have to do that. You'll just go ahead and add this to your own website. We're gonna go over here to style and I'm gonna change the background color to a black. So we have this very dark themed website. All right guys, now I'm gonna show you just how easy this is. Let's go ahead and drag in a heading and all we're gonna do is go over here to the advanced tab under CSS classes right here, we're gonna go ahead and type in whatever that CSS class is from back over here on the website. So if we check out the website here, this, this link again is down below in the description. Here's the CSS class we need, text-glow. So we'll go ahead and just type that in here into CSS classes, text-glow, and immediately, as soon as I finish typing that, we have this effect that pops up ready to go. Now, how cool is that, guys? We literally can just now type in anything we would like and it will come out in this glowing text. And again, guys, if you wanna try this on a lighter themed website, you certainly can. You can just switch your background color to anything else and you can still see the text. You get this kind of like artistic, like I was mentioning before, kind of effect across or behind the text. Now let's go ahead and show you the other effect. All right, guys, we're back here on our dark themed website and I went ahead and deleted that heading, but now we're gonna go ahead and show you the effect on the animated headline. So let's go ahead and just drag this right in here and you can see we have the black text on the black background, so we can't really see what's going on there. But if we hit style here and then go over to headline, we can go ahead and switch the text color up to white. And then that should be good for right now. We just want this first part right here. It says the before text. We just want that to be white. Now what we're going to do here is switch the style to rotating and if you note here in the instructions you can see the animated headline right here you need to use the style rotating in the animation typing for this effect to actually work so let's go ahead and just switch this over to typing and that is good to go perfect now let's go over here to the advanced and remember to always do this to actually apply the effect down to css class and we're going to go ahead and type in text dash glow and when we take a look here we now have that effect happening. And I think just right off the right out of the box, you know, right right off the bat it's looking really really good. Now guys, if we actually go back here to the content, we can actually remove this before text. And if we want to put something in here that actually has something to do with our website like hello, welcome to our site. We'll just put that 
So right here, you can actually see this is going to go through the typing animation of actually showing people it typed out. And when we have this effect applied, we've already gone through and put in the CSS class text-glow. We now have this effect applied and we get this kind of like neon effect to typing text. Now, if you guys wanna learn more about animated headlines, I've made an entire video all about them, so check that card right up above so you know how to actually use these, and then you will maybe appreciate you know, just how cool this neon text really is because it creates this really cool effect, and the animated headline has so much versatility. So definitely check out that video. And again, guys, that's it for this effect. It's just that easy. Check out this page that I have down below. You can get these codes, again, if you wanna watch a tutorial video a little bit of how to do it check out this video right here but you can go ahead copy this page this this code excuse me copy this code over to your back end in WordPress and copy it to the custom codes under the Elementor menu and then go ahead and just use this CSS class right here and apply the effect under advanced and then under CSS classes and you'll get that awesome effect Anyway, guys, that's it for this effect. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want other effects in the future, you can drop a comment down below. I always check the comments. And of course, you can drop a like and kind of boost this video a little bit in the YouTube algorithm for me. That would be greatly appreciated. And I am actually working on a brand new YouTube series all about building a website from the ground up. It's gonna have a lot of videos. It's a lot of work I'm putting in right now, but I'm super excited. It's gonna be a great series. So if you're interested in that, be sure and make, well, make sure you're subscribed and also hit that bell icon and be notified of upcoming videos, just like this video series that I'm gonna be putting out. And of course, guys, I always recommend Elementor Pro. The price is getting increased, like I mentioned, so make sure you check out the link down below in the description and see what kind of price you can get for it before those prices go up. And of course, guys, that is coming up on March 9th, so hurry, hurry, hurry. And guys, have a great rest of your day. I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.